Hello guys, what's up? This is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about The Night Clerk. I, I found this movie uh, on, on Netflix, I'm sorry, on Netflix. And this is uh, starred by star Tai Sheridan, the guy who actually played um, Wade in Ready Player One. Um, this is basically about a, a you know, a, uh, I say, I would say he's in his mid mid 20s and but this character or this person is has Asperger so yeah he's, he's mentally ill I guess in a high high functioning mentally ill so that's how I would how that's how a medical professional would put uh, put him in that categories I don't like to put people in certain category I think it's just that's wrong but that's how I would describe him as he's highly intelligent, really, really highly intelligent, but really uh, different from normal people, let's just say that. So let's talk about what I did like about this movie. I like Ty Sheridan's acting, it's so good, superb. He, he is that person, he exudes that, he, he live and breathe that that characters and the way he moved, the way he talked, the way he interact with other people, the way he moves his eye, the way he twitches, the, just every everything all he really studied and nailed this character really well. I like his mother, she was his overbearing, overprotective mother. I like that. And I also like uh can't remember the the officer or the detective. He played a lot of roles too, um but he also was really, really, really good in this movie as a detective trying to like uh, uh, find clues or find evidence. And there was a certain scene that was between our Ty, uh, Ty's character and him. It was really interesting. It's just some, and the whole dynamic. And I also like the, uh, I guess the mysterious girl, the mysterious woman who come into the so-called speak hotel and you find I find her really interesting uh, as as a guy I um, she was able she she this actress did a really good job of masquerading innocence masquerading uh, understanding masquerading uh, kind of playing his feeling, really kind of being ambiguous. So it's essentially the, uh, uh, I guess I would say a manipulative woman um, on the other end of the spectrum of, uh, there are a spectrum of women, but she is on the other high end. She's really, really intelligent, really, really manipulative, really, really, really uh, um, good. That's what she does, and so I like that that the whole dynamic relationship between the clerk, which is Ty's characters, uh, the the inter the interesting conversation that they have, the interaction, and the consequences. I thought that was really 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 good, um, and I really like that all the cast are really strong, uh, and the acting just it's just believable. The the setting was just great it fit the characters of his uh so his um his bubble so to speak so i love that the whole aspect they really developed the characters and and uh, the pr and, and and the characters and the, the sub characters and the, the premises i like the premises of the story you know all of that pertain pertain to the character he's he's he, he doesn't want to be close proximity to but other but he watches other two sort of so he can live in that world in the real world so to speak or try to blend into the real world so i like that so and then the 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 the, the, the issue or the problem of trying to solve who what's going on in the in the, in the movies. I like that. It's kind of like you're trying to figure it out, but yet being captivated by these characters and the relationship that he has with all these other characters, especially the woman that he met, he met in the hotel. So what I did not like about this movie, but that is the evidence that is shown is it's not clear in the movies uh, of the, what, hap the, what happened in the crime scene. And 
I think I have to watch this two or three more times to really understand what's going on. And this, understand this is just my first viewing. I'm planning on watching it again, maybe a few more times because this is such a good movie. And I plan to watch this. And at the moment, I just didn't see evidence laid out. I could, I think I figured it out on the first time. But I feel like I need to watch it again just to see if I'm right and if, see if I understand what the character is actually seeing or making the same connection that our main character is making the same connection. How the character made the connection in the movie itself, in the story itself. So the evidence itself was kind of hard to find or kind of hard for your average person to even connect the dot between the two, the characters, the, the girl and her lover and then the other lover. So it's hard to connect the dot uh, evident by evidence. So it's, it's hard to, to, as an audience to really figure that out because it, it doesn't show, it's all about nuances. It's all about the talk and the, the intention behind the words and the movement, especially in this movie. So that's the only thing I did not like. And I did not like the ending, it wasn't, I mean, it, the ending is okay, but it is just a baby step. It's not a revolutionary move by the main character. I understand he's mentally ill, highly functioning mentally ill. It just didn't give him the the stepping point for this whole character. So that's kind of the neg not negative, but the con of the movies. What was the rating I give this movie? I give it an 8 out of 10. I truly enjoyed this movie on a script level, on a writing level, on the acting level, on the, on the simplicity of the premises of the movies. And I highly recommend you watch this movie. Watch it and just stand back and be, and be part, not stand back, but be part of the movie and try to figure out the mysteries. And then you will enjoy this movie. Again, guy, 8 out of 10. I highly recommend you watch this. You will enjoy it. You will appreciate good writing, especially in this movie. Then again, guys, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse my YouTube channels. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. Please do so. But most importantly, thank you and take care. Bye-bye.